Hello everyone, my name's Andy. My name is Max. We've got our trusty knife and we've got some customer packages. It's time for another episode of Leftover Currency Cash Unboxing. Should we go for one of the big ones or should we stick with the small ones for now? Save the excitement for later. Save the excitement for later. Let's have a little look. Looks like we've got a bit of a mix of currencies here. Quite a colorful assortment of paper banknotes. We've got some US dollars. We've got some Malaysian ringgit. So let's just organize all of this. Cool, we've got a nice assortment of different currencies from around the world here. All of them have a monetary value, which is nice to see. So we've got some current Singapore dollars, the 10, the 5 and the 2. Over here we've got some Indonesian rupiah, we've got the 50,000, the 20,000, the 5,000, some very colourful banknotes. We've got the Canadian $5 banknote, which is polymer. We have a couple of different versions, but they're both still legal tender of the 10 Malaysian ringgit banknote. We've got some 1 ringgit banknotes as well. We've got some Brazilian reals. These are actually the older series of Brazilian real. They have bought out new versions of these two banknotes. We've got some Central African francs, some South African rand. We've got the older style of the 500 Mexican peso banknote there. They have got another newer version of that, so it's from the older series. We've got the Polymer 20 Mexican peso banknote, some current Saudi real, some outmoded Saudi real, so that's the older version. And um, we've got some US dollars, the latest style of the $10 notes, some $1 notes there, some Singapore dollars, all polymer notes, all still current legal tender. And then we've got some Indian rupees. The reason why I've split these up is because this is still current legal tender, this one is not. How do you know the difference? So, if we turn them over, you'll notice at the very bottom of the banknote, in the center, you have a date on one of them, and on the other, you do not. So these with the date, they are still current legal tender. The ones without the date are now withdrawn, but they do look pretty much exactly the same as one another. So there we have it. Let's check everything against the exchange form, get them counted up, and move on to the next one. We've got some juicy coinage in here, it seems. This one's a little bit weighty. Yeah, you can hear the rattling there. Do you want to do the honors? It's quite a heavy one. Three fours, just three fours. <laughs> Lovely looking pink box. Packing filler here, keeps all the coins nice and safe during transit. It's actually really nice to see people sending in their currency to us and padding out the inside of the package, any space on the inside of the package. I've actually made a video on the best packaging practices to follow when sending in coins and banknotes to us. So be sure to check out the link in the top right hand side of the screen. We've also put some links down in the description as well. All right, let's see what we've got here. Got some euro coins here. They all appear to have been sorted by denomination, which is very helpful. But we are going to quickly cheat count these. We have a euro counting machine. So follow us downstairs. Let's shove these through the machine, see if the totals match the exchange form. We're going downstairs. We're going downstairs. Plot twist. Okay, so we've got our trusty euro machine. We're going to run those coins through here. So that's a lot of euros. We had 124 euros and 55 cents. The exchange value, 90 pounds and 63 pence. So they're all sorted by denomination. Does it matter if the coins are mixed? No, it doesn't matter if they're mixed. You can send them to us mixed. We'll do all of the sorting and counting for you and let you know exactly what we count. We've also got another video coming out very shortly that gives you a guided tour through our mixed coin sorting processes. So be sure to click the subscribe button for up updates on future videos. So that's all for today, folks. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions about any of the currencies that you saw in today's video, feel free to drop them in the comment section below.